Welcome to class, ladies. Today we're going to teach you something that will definitely please your man, how to roast a chicken. You'll know the chicken is done cooking when the juices run clear and you don't see any red. Wrong. Although it may have been true at one point, for the chicken that a lot of us are cooking right now, it's no longer true. The best way to know when your chicken is fully cooked is to use a probe thermometer. Welcome to the French Chef. I'm Julia Child. Today we'll be making a Bernays sauce. Oops, dear me. Although we'll be cooking with some wine, don't worry, the alcohol always cooks off, so you don't need to worry about it. Wrong. Alcohol doesn't completely cook off like a lot of people think. However, it's usually just a tiny amount that is in each serving, so this probably only matters for those with the strictest health or religious restrictions. Hey, 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 I'm Emma Lagasse. First, we'll season the pork chop. Get a little like this, then we'll kick it up a notch. Bam! And you know the pork is done when it hits 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Wrong. In 2011, the USDA lowered the minimum safe temperature for pork to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. This is great because it makes it easier to cook pork that is juicy and tender. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's enough TV. Surely in this day and age, it's got to be better to learn on the internet. This quiz will reveal what type of melon you are, make an order from Chipotle and we'll guess your age, do your opinions on these very popular foods actually suck. Wait, this isn't even a parody. It's an actual website. Okay, enough of technology. Okay, so we're making a roast, just like mom always did. First, let's take a look at the recipe. Hmm, cook it till it's done, that's helpful. Hey mom, why do we always cut the ends off of the roast? That's how Graham always did it. I think it makes it juicier or something. Hmm. Hey Gran, why do we cut the ends off the roast? Oh, because our oven was too small to fit the whole thing. Enough, that's enough, we get it. Regardless of how people learn to cook, it's likely that some of what they learned is just wrong. Either it was always wrong, or after they learned it, science figured out it was wrong. So, what's the answer? How do we fix this? It's so easy, it's only three words. Kickstart your kitchen. It's an online course from Helpful for Life that will kickstart your kitchen into the next gear. It will confirm the truths you've learned and expose the myths. It's well-researched and doesn't just parrot advice without first getting to the bottom of it. But Reed, why do I care about a cooking course? I already know how to cook and I can do it pretty well. Great, we know and we're glad. But surely you don't think you know it all, otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching us right now. Right now you know how to cook, but after Kickstart Your Kitchen, you will know why the techniques work and how to better implement them. For example, you know how to brown meat and veggies, but thanks to Kickstart Your Kitchen, you will know why that makes them taste good and you'll know the tips and tricks to ensure that you achieve a solid Maillard reaction and great caramelization. The course is broken up into small chunks, so you can skip videos that you think you've already mastered. However, we encourage you to watch it all, because as Neil deGrasse Tyson put it, one of the great challenges in life is knowing enough to think you're right, but not enough to know you're wrong. And of course, one of the perks of taking the course is that you can ask any burning cooking questions that you have. All of that being said, if you're as good of a cook as you say you are, then you've probably realized that there's a lot more to mastering the kitchen than just knowing how to cook. Kickstart Your Kitchen will turn you into a master of the process from beginning to end. You'll learn about the materials that go into your kitchen tools so you'll always know the right tool for the job. You will have lists so you can know the food staples you should always be stocking and what you should get next to expand your gear, all while keeping a well-organized kitchen and pantry. You'll be saving time and money in the grocery store. Plus, you won't be afraid to check out some stores that you haven't frequented before. This will have you branching out for new ingredients and saving money. But let's jump back to the actual cooking part again. You won't simply be learning how to make a couple of recipes, you will be learning the actual techniques and methods behind cooking. Plus, you'll learn some frameworks like our five finger salad and our in-depth sauce guide. Between the methods, the frameworks, and your new meal planning knowledge, you will be able to easily create healthy balanced meals every week. And you'll do so with endless variety. Even better, you'll be able to substitute and optimize ingredients based on what you have, what's on sale, or what's in season. 
If you want to, you can even create your own recipes, completely from scratch. Who wants some of Sally's scrumptious seafood scampi served alongside some simple Caesar salad? But I saved the best for last. Kickstarter Kitchen will take you up to 11 by teaching you how to improve the dining experience. You'll be saying, oh stop, put those phones away, as everyone at the table snaps the grams to the delicious meals you've been making. At least they're finally sending pictures of something besides themselves. Not to mention that the new and improved dining experience will be enough to impress a date, or to persuade someone to do that household chore or personal favor for you. I've tried to make it obvious for you, but in case it's not, let's make it crystal clear. Kickstart Your Kitchen will take your cooking game from being a one-song flop ice, ice, baby, to go, to go, to being the king of pop. <laughs> Get started the day at kickstartyourkitchen.com. Dang, they still haven't clicked the link yet? They're smart enough to know how to cook. you think they'd be smart enough to click the link. You don't want to miss out, just click it. Okay, that's enough of that. Now I should be going anyways.